What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I have an exciting reveal for the channel today. Big news, super exciting for me. I got a new workhorse. I got a tool to use for ice fishing and for the YouTube channel. Take a look at this. Brand new 2022 Expedition 900 SE. It's the big boy. This thing is a workhorse. Just picked it up yesterday, funny story. I was about 20 seconds away from pulling into my dealer and the sled was about, oh, probably eight weeks late just because everything's behind still from the supply issues we're having. I'm 20 seconds away and I get a text from my good buddy Dan at Reboot and he's got a picture of the tag with my name on it and the sled. And he says, I just bought this sled for $200 more than you'd paid for it. <laughs> and because I didn't know he was going to be there. He didn't know I was going to be there. And then I pull in 10 seconds later and boy, the fists were flying and fingers were pointed straight up. And we had a pretty good laugh about it. This is the first big ticket new item I've ever purchased in my life. I've had the big bass boats and the high money bass boats, but they were always sponsor deals or straight up sponsorships where as soon as I got it, I was putting it to use and had to sell it right away. I tried to get it sold just as quickly as possible to get out from under it and try to get ahead of it too. So they were never something that I personally owned or could own for the future. Whereas this thing, I'm hoping to have it for the rest of my life. Who knows? After the last few years running the old 370 2001 long track fan cooled Panther, which has been a great sled for me. I've listened to the viewers. I've listened to the old folks. I've listened to people that are older than me. Tell me you got to get a more reliable sled that can get you out of a bad situation and that won't get buried every time it sees slush and get something that works and works good. So fishing with a bunch of buddies the last couple of years, I've seen the Skidoo Expeditions do incredibly well in slushy conditions and super cold conditions. I've seen them on the trail. I've, I've seen them get put to use and I thought that might be the best sled for me out of looking at all the options. Let's take a look. So first things first, this thing has got a holder for an ax, you know, that's, that's enough in itself. On the SC, it came with this giant box back here. And, you know, as with any storage, whether it be a garage or a great big barn, no matter how big it is or how big you build it, there never seems to be enough room. But this thing, let's take a look at this box right here. This box is huge. You could definitely fit a bunch of babies in there if you need to. Probably fit my 26 inch jack traps in there and a ton of ice fishing stuff, safety stuff. And it's the link system so I can add to it and, and things link and lock onto it. This is not a review of this sled because as far as you just saw driving it out of the trailer is as far as I've driven it yet. This is it. So I'm not going to tell you this is the greatest thing ever, or the best thing in the world. I'm going to put it to the test before I tell you that. This is just a reveal and to show you how excited I am to have this thing. So I got the storage box here, great big thing mounted on the back. And then we have a passenger seat. Passenger seat's got heated hand warmers, which is crazy. It's got a couple different settings on that. And then underneath that passenger seat, you could flip that up like that, is another box with even more storage. So there's more storage there, dry storage, got a battery there, the heated hand warmers there. So I could actually take this seat off if I do the same thing on the other side. And I could put a gas tank here or other storage here if I don't need the second seat. And for more storage, there's also storage up front here where I have my tools and my owner's manual, which I plan on reading some night before bed up on the ice this week. I didn't do a lot of add-ons for add-ons. All I did was the heavy duty receiver hitch in the back. Got this baby here, see, got the name on still. So there's the receiver hitch there and then this can come out if need be and I could put other attachments in it or a winch in it if I need it. 
But yeah, that's it, fellas. There she is. I'm, I can't even tell you how excited I am to have it. I've, I think the day I decided I was definitely going to buy a new sled was the night on Moosehead where I got buried Not about good, two, two and a half miles out. Not good. Buried in the slush. And it was 20 around. below zero. And I had to get Quick some, some gentlemen, some senior citizens, luckily, came out and, and helped me get it out with their two new sleds. So that walk in was a long, lonely walk that gave me a lot of time to think and think about the future and think about how much more I want to do this, think about being safe and and putting a little ease on me. So yeah, huge purchase. I was really, it took a long time for me to pull the trigger. I pulled the trigger on the very last day of spring order on March, on the last day of March, because I, I just couldn't figure if it was worth buying a new sled and, and, uh, and you know, it's a lot of money to justify, but I've worked really, really hard, you know, not just on the YouTube channel, but with my business too, to save enough money to buy this thing and I'm really excited to put it to work. And like I said, it's not a toy. This thing is a tool and she's going to be used as a workhorse, not a show pony. The other thing I got on this, on this particular model is the ice raker track. So this is a 20 inch wide track. It's got the decent sized paddles and every paddle has a spike in it already so it's got like they're almost like the ones you'd have in your car tires but they're actually a little bit sharper so each paddle has those built right into it suspension when you're in reverse lifts up so that way you're not digging in driving into the snow you can you could actually set that to do that or come up or not come up if you if you prefer it but when you're in reverse rather than dig down into the deep snow it should kick you up and get you on top of it uh, about 40 inch wide skis on the, on the front of this thing. Sits up pretty high. It's got a high and low range right here. It's got a computer screen right there with all the info you'll need. Sport mode, econo mode. Temp setting. No more mixing oil or filling an oil reserve. This thing is a four stroke so that's about as loud as it's going to be right there a couple things i'm going to throw in the back i'm going to throw in a no coat charger and jump starter because i can't seem to find the pull cord on this thing it is a 900 so they, they told me it'd take a couple of guys bigger than me to pull start it so there's no starter on it, no pull start on it so you better have a battery box i'm going to throw a a tow cable on there i'll also throw probably a farm jack on that thing just in case I do get it stuck. And I'm thinking about possibly mount, mounting a winch or getting a winch, like an electric winch for it, if not, just to come along. Also, I'll have a first aid kit in there and some warm up stuff if need be. And then the only other modification I had them do at Chase where I got it from in Unity was I had them throw some scratchers on there. So these scratchers will flip down right there. And they're spring loaded. And what they'll do is they'll flip down and scratch the ice when there's no snow to lubricate the track and the runners. Six hundred and sixty-five pounds dry, so she's pretty heavy. And then you throw me on there, and it's probably closer to seven hundred and eighty pounds or something. <laughs> yeah, do the math. But she's a heavy, she's a heavy beast. It's one of the biggest ones that they make, so it's going to be comfortable. It's going to be a workhorse, and hopefully, I don't get it buried, and and hopefully, it it, it works just the way I I want it to work as a tool. Super pumped to have this, guys. Can't tell you how much I, I appreciate all the comments and support on the channel. Some of the money that that I made that I was able to make off the channel through advertisements that Google runs that I don't choose or anything help pay for this. So the support from the channel means a lot. When we do like a live premiere video, 
and people drop money in the super chat that this is the type of stuff it goes to it doesn't go to to line in my pocket or making me any fatter it goes directly back into the channel and into fish and stuff stay tuned this season guys hopefully you'll see that baby going to work a lot more and and hopefully i'll be able to get myself to the fishing holes and off the ice when i need to and onto the ice and and all over the lakes when i need to so the only thing it didn't come with was enough snow as you can see we got some green grass still poking itself out over there not much snow left we're we're due to get some here i think tomorrow but i'm i'm itching to get up north so within the next few days I will be way up north where there's already 8 to 12 inches, probably fishing like the Chamberlain Lake chain or something like that. Guys, I'm here to pick up the new sled and you won't even believe who got here a half hour before me and they just offered a hundred dollars more for my sled and I think they got it. Look at these two! Look at these two bottom feeders! <laughs> Following Joe everywhere he goes. We heard he had a snowmobile here that he was going to pick up so I, I said, you know what, I'm going to go offer the guy, the owner, a hundred dollars more and sure enough he's getting ready to load it on my truck for, and I, for I only a hundred dollars more and then he gets <laughs> to keep my five hundred dollar deposit so he made out like a bandit <laughs> but here's abe and dan are here from reboot and what did we pick it up today fellas uh i'll let abe explain that oh, one uh so abe so the thing about abe is okay polar bear works a lot of hours sometimes we do missions and there's not a machine left for him to come down to fish with us and Abe's getting tired of it. So he he broke down and bought this nice Sportsman Flares with the tracks, and he's gonna show up when he can, when, after he wakes up from work at night to come nice. down and give us a hand. Cause he only gets to come down a few times a year and it's always like, it's hard to go up and get him and when I'm busy, so now he can just show up when he wants to. Well, it's good he finally spent some of that money. These guys are rough. And the only thing polished about him is that first nickel Abe's got that he ever earned still in his pocket. So. <laughs> oh, it's a dime, sorry. Yeah, that's the only thing polished about these guys. They are rough just like me. So, but here's the new machine for Abe. Look at this beauty. Yeah. Abe, you're gonna look good on that thing. 570 Sportsman EFI, nice. And what are we putting on the tracks? Yeah, putting the tracks. You've got uh, the camouflage tracks, all terrain. So if conditions aren't that great. The, I like these tracks a lot. I got them on my side by sides, and they they hold up pretty good. Nice, and it looks like it's comfortable for at least two people. Oh, here. easy, it's a yeah. Torn. Nice. That is beautiful. Can I have it? Well, <laughs> trade you a sled? No, I can't trade. <laughs> He's got. He already got yeah, my you sled. Yeah, you talk to me. <laughs> yeah. 